There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Hagrid, at last. And where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft. That was buckets. It just went right in there. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Those eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello everyone, and welcome to Students of Gaming. Hello. This is your Professor Twain, um, and we're playing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I have Tony and KY with me. Yo. Uh, which one of you would like to play? First trade. or, or to trade off? All right, which one of you wants to uh, wants to uh, take? Tone's looking at KY. So you have been volunteered. The, uh, the uh, beginning got me kind of hyped, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so yeah, just go to a new game. Sorry, Tang quarters tang. All right, let's do this. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, Harry Potter. Not much to say. Uh, that all, hasn't been said. Right, we're all familiar. Right? Yeah, very familiar. Well, uh, for the audience that is not familiar, it is a seven-book epic at this point, um, which this kid... Told you, who, oh, didn't I, never I, mind. Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Crow? D -d Defense against the dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? <laughs> getting all your equipment, I suppose. I I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. The graphics aren't bad at all for a PS2 game. Yeah, this is a PS2 game, so like yeah. you can't expect much, but you're right. This is not bad. In fact, this game is kind of rare at this point. Is it? Yeah. Right. Stand Diagon Alley. It was towards the end of the PS2 life. Okay. Um, so I think part of it was just there weren't a bunch of people that bought it. That makes well, well, that makes sense. PS2 Diagon was released in 2000. Am I right? Just your one. <sighs> yeah. 2000. And Harry Potter. Yeah, and I still have been your becoming popular present. right around then. Yeah, and then they didn't make the game for a few years. Yeah, because the first movie didn't come out until oh, it was a while. Yes, I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first one, ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made a willow, nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. <laughs> well, it's because it's James Potter's a douchebag. <laughs> well, now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? Yeah, is any of this, like, necessary for the game? I mean, because, like, they're I, trying to immerse you in it because... I, are you assuming that everybody who's playing this has watched the movie? I guess, yeah, you're, you're right. It's... That's not fair. Oh, what would it be like to be a kid and play this game and have never have seen or read Harry Potter? But you're right. I mean, that's part of it. Like, can you assume that uh, you guys can read better than me? What's 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 that? Task? Let your wand choose you at Ollivander's Vander's Wand Shop. All right, let's get. Uh, I don't think you have anything. All oh, right. Also showing you the inventory. Okay. So go let your wand choose you. you have two options. Unicorn hair, eight and a half inches, springy. Ebony. Stand over there on that platform to try your wand. 
unicorn hair. <laughs> That's not right. My goodness. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very patient old man. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Where's the... Is there another one? Oh, they're all in the cases over there? Wooden dragon heart string. Let's try this guy out. Holly and Phoenix feather. Eleven inches. Nice and supple. Nope, that's not gonna be it. That's too long. That is it, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it vibrated when I walked out. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, the Phoenix yeah. is what tipped That's right. Off. Curious. Yeah, curious. Curious. Very curious. <laughs> you can't tell as much by his facial expression in the game, though. What's curious? That's a fair question. People don't yeah, normally just say curious without <laughs> elaborating. It's a hell of a memory, by the way. Every single one. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this one when it's brother. Why it's brother gave you. I was gonna say maybe we have to voice it. Yeah. Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think. We must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes, but great. That reminds me of a significantly a long argument that lies we had with it a friend. Be most valuable in all that lies ahead. You about Harry Potter? No, about Adolf Hitler. But he was like, he was, he was, he was Over speaking here. of Hitler in the same way that Ollivander was just speaking of Voldemort. Uh -huh. But I don't think he, he didn't do a very good job of explaining it. He's like, uh -huh. he did great things. He was a great man in the way that he could, he was great at public speaking. He was great at being able to rally a crowd and get people behind his ideas, just that his ideas were terrible. And what he wanted to do was terrible. Uh, yeah, that was that was one of the longest arguments I think I've ever engaged in. Um, camera is trash. Oh, of course, it's a PS2 it? game. Uh, oh. It's a platformer. I mean, there's some platforming-ish things. They're not. It's not very hard though. It's not like Wind Waker or something like that. I just want to play Quidditch. You will be able to play Quidditch. You will be. You will be. Uh, go find that ladder. Fishy sardine flavor. Ugh. I was eating those jelly beans. Yeah. Sardine flavor, oi. Ugh. I don't think he sounds like that. Fishy. All right, so what are you supposed to do here? Uh, ah, just jump. Oh, Mm. Coffee. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of choppy, but like, it's still, it's fine, but like any game like this that tries to incorporate some amount of platforming with uh, 3D camera, uh -huh. the camera is bad. This is not your friend. I thought maybe I could rotate the camera until it's not the case. Oh, let you rotate it. Oh, oh, nice. Harry is yeah. kind of athletic. Sprout. Pick up this Dude has hated like a majority of the beans he's eaten. <laughs> I think I would just stop eating them. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, How many vomit. sardines? Oh. <laughs> Booger. Oh, bro. Awesome. Yes, Fun. <laughs> Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful Flippendo knockback jinxes. Flippendo knockback. 
that's one thing I hated about this game. Um, your main spell is Flipendo, and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that in the movie. Oh wait, no. Yeah. It's never fucking used in the movie ever. In any of the movies, in fact. Is, is that even in any of the books? <sighs> not that I'm aware of. The Snotback Jinx is the most utilitarian... We don't. We don't. What? Thank you for interrupting my explanation oh. of what Flipendo was. Uh, I'm sorry. Can I open the book again? No, you can never open the book again. Oh, shit. I'm kidding. It's fine. Anyways, they, they use this as a, as you they there use you it as like this catch all um, spell. Uh, but I feel like there were other spells that did similar things, and they just decided to make a something different for the sake of plot in the video game. Um, it's not canon. So it's like a knockback, okay? Wasn't that Stupefy? Although I suppose Stupefy was like, knock you out, not knock back. Um, so yeah, you can target, what's that, R1? Yeah. And then, yeah, so you've equipped it to the circle. So just a tone so goes for Unless you when he plays. You oh, with circle? Circle's kind of a good, like, default circle. Oh, yeah. Figure. Well, yeah, because your finger, your thumb should be around the... Right about there. If you'd kindly follow yeah. me. Well, so when do we learn the killing curse? <laughs> <laughs> does, Car- does Harry ever learn the killing curse? Well, obviously this game isn't canon. That's fair enough. Then we'll just have to wait and see what else that we learn. That would be sick if you learned that shit. <laughs> just go around killing everybody. <laughs> and he's doing it with that, like, voice. Avada Kedavra! Avada Kedavra! Is it Mickey Mouse? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, that, that's why oh here. Uh, oh boy, Avada Kedavra! Go ahead. That thing that's wiggling. Use your... Mm-hmm. There you go. Coffee. Look Who says I'm... that as a 10 year Or what is he? He's 10, right? Yeah. yeah. Or 10 or 11. Or something. So, yeah. Coffee flavor. Next, he's going to be like, Oi! Pops Blue Ribbon flavored. Yeah, Delicious. And we're like, you're, you're like ridiculous. I mean, who else goes out in public with round glasses, <laughs> shaky hair, and a fucking wizard robot? <laughs> Kids that were raised in a closet. <laughs> Wait. Oh, these are the cards. The chocolate frog. Folio Magi. That's a, that's a worthy addition to society. The cheering charms? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you, Tony, you were just talking about this weekend. There was a day you just felt good just, just to that's, feel good. Yeah. Maybe you got hit with a cheering charm. Is that it? Maybe that's, yeah. That yeah, that, yeah, that's all that's in that room. So yeah, this is obviously not canon because Harry did not go through all this in Ollivander's. Yeah, he didn't go through like fucking trials course. <laughs> He's got a nice uh, little flick of the wrist there. Natural. A flick of the wrist. <laughs> all right, go that way. Oh, there's pots on the wall. Oh yeah, you know how I like to be pots. Oh gosh, <laughs> Kyle, are you gonna be a a completionist on Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's mm. Stone? Maybe. He just opened something, though. It could be something up there. You're right. Of course, Harry's first instinct is to destroy everything. <laughs> just, something open! Hit it! You actually had to do that to yeah. Good job. open the door. There you go. Harry, you cannot get out of my my shop unless you figure out the puzzle in this room. I'm right. pretty sure that's uh, false imprisonment. Yeah, oh, right. oh, Jesus. He locked the door behind him! And the and the other door. This isn't creepy at all. I sit there like, ah. <laughs> the Very curious. Using your flipendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the like, aren't I going to learn this shit at school? Who the fuck are yeah, you? Yeah, that's interesting. Like Ollivander is the person in this game to sh- teach him his first spell. <laughs> yeah, right. Give him some okay, customer, eh? trials. Sometimes the answer to the question isn't right in front of you. Are you supposed to, you're supposed to match the... Uh, so sing up sun, oh, I sun, see. moon, sun, moon. Is that star? In the last yeah, one? or star, moon, sun, whatever. Oh. The top one. I think you just press it again. Yeah, that's how you try to toggle through. It all. Sometimes the answer you're looking for isn't right in front of you. Well, actually, it kind of <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally you, right have, you have a mural on your I, ceiling. I mean, I guess you have to look up slightly, but it's still in front of you. <laughs> Is that a card? Oh, a book New of cards. bees. Okay. The imp. 
I think that helps you with uh, just Slap gives you hints, hints as to their yeah. Uh, what do you what do you call that? Not uh, the bat for picking them up and throwing uh, them into a hole. Uh, a bad guy encyclopedia, enemy encyclopedia, yeah. a Pokedex, Com compendium or something like that. Oh, Pokedex. There you go. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Bad. There's an imp. Bad, bad, bad. Who just has imps lying around to These scare children can with? Be a nuisance. Try knocking them over with Flipendo. Then pick them up and lock them in the cages. Damn. None of this is okay. <laughs> None of this is okay. Wow. I they know. can kill you, though, if you don't know what you're doing. So don't be a pacifist about it. So then you pick them up. Yeah. Carry lock them in a cage. It <laughs> just tosses them. Ow! Is that bolt of lightning your health? Uh, yes. Is that magic? That that's your that's your health. Well, shoot it again. Shoot it again, real quick, KY. Oh, never mind. I got knocked over a few times. So I think that's. That I think it's your health, but I've not. Yeah, Are you gonna lock the door again? All right. On the next episode, students of gaming. <laughs> uh, Tone's gonna try his wand at Flipendo, I guess. Are you excited about the knockback spell? Oh, yeah. The utilitarian yeah. knockback spell? <laughs> Gotta start somewhere before we get that killing curse. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's true. Alright, class dismissed.